Hello and welcome to this Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at how to install an operating system using a Mac. First thing to do is make sure you've got your SD card ready. I've got a 4 gig SD card that's clean and now we just need to go onto the web and download an operating system. I'll put the links below. Okay, so this is the website we want to go to, just raspberrypi.org slash downloads. Like I say, the link will be in the description. And the image I'm going to download is Raspberry and Wheezy. So I'm just going to do a direct download. And you'll be redirected in five seconds. And there we go, it's just popped into the downloads. While that's downloading, we just need to go to another website. Again, the link will be in the description. And we'll download this piece of software called RPI SD Card Builder. Give that link a click. This one we just have to wait unless we've got high speed downloads, premium membership. 15 seconds is not the end of the world. Okay, so that's both my files downloading. Looks like the SD card build is already ready to roll. So all I'm going to do is drag that into my applications. Let's have a look. And there it is. It's in my applications. So I'm just going to give it a click. And all we need to do now is choose the image file. So I'm just going to wait for this to download and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so that's downloaded now and I've just moved it onto my desktop to make it easier. So I'm just going to browse into my desktop, choose the image, click on choose. And now it's asking to connect your SD card, so I'm just going to plug that in. And click continue. And what you have to do is make sure you've got the right option selected. Some SD card. It's 3.6 gig left there. Click OK. And that's it. Nothing appears to now happen on your screen apart from typing in your username and password. Typical. Okay, so now nothing will happen on your screen. It will just sit there saying wait until it's been connected. And what you'll see at the top of the screen is this little spinning icon that's got the percentage and how long it's going to take. So we just sit and we wait until it pops back up on the screen. It should take a few minutes. Okay, so the process completed. A little menu box came up on the screen and I clicked OK. Forgot, did that quickly before telling you guys. Um, but that's all you need to do. So you need to now just eject your SD card and pop it into your Raspberry Pi and you should have a working operating system. Thank you for watching.